As the world traditionally celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ on 25th of December, each country marks the occasion uniquely with prayer preparations. Frank Waine, the spokesperson of Uganda Prisons, underscored the significance of this annual practice in ensuring that all inmates in the country are cared for during the Christmas period. We are doing it because, as you know, we are on standby and the people we have cannot simply walk home. But Christmas being a very important celebration worldwide, it is always very important for us that we do something different from the usual. And that's why at least all the inmates, all the staff and our families will enjoy Christmas with Christmas meals, plus the other packages like rice, and they like However, he assured the public that the slaughtered animals underwent thorough testing by doctors to ensure their safety. Uh, to make sure that the meat that is consumed by the staff and the inmates is good meat. And of course, you know, even with the, 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 the existing situation of foot and mouth disease and anthrax, to avoid that, that's why we have to subject every cow that is slaughtered has to be subjected to inspection. And if it is found to be not palatable according to the professionals, then that one has to be destroyed. Addressing nutritional preferences, Baine mentioned that inmates who abstain from meat will also receive suitable alternatives. Yeah, there is always a provision. There is fish. Uh, I wouldn't say chicken. Chicken is in the upper end, but there is normally fish for them. The horses are instructed to make sure they are catered for and the OCs are facilitated to ensure that all those who don't eat meat actually also enjoy the same way others are enjoying. With a prison population exceeding 76,000 along with over 14,000 staff and an estimated 90,000 family members of staff all are said to enjoy Christmas courtesy of Rosera prisons. Normal prayers will be conducted in various prisons across the country on Christmas Day as part of their celebrations. Justin Nakami, UBC News.